Welcome to episode 36 of Project 613. Today we continue with the Rambam's order of prayer. It contains the text of the Amidah, the text of the Kedusha recited during repetition of the Amidah, the text of the Kaddish, the texts of the prayers recited after the Amidah, and the text of the holiday, Rish Chodesh, and high holiday Amidahs as well. So how did we end up with the Amidah prayer as we know it today? Maimonides writes that until the destruction of the Holy Temple, everyone prayed in their own words. When the Jews were in exile, however, the language became a mix of distorted Hebrew and some of the other languages of the regions of their exiles. As a result, they weren't able to express themselves properly in prayer. Therefore, Ezra the scribe in his rabbinical court established a set text for everyone to use. In the words of the prophet Nehemiah, their children spoke half in Ashdoidis and did not know how to speak the Jewish language. Rather, they would speak according to the language of various other people. The Amidah, nevertheless, does not replace personal or spontaneous prayer. Rather, it is a platform to build on. Thus, while the words in order are extremely important, the most important ingredient in prayer is the part that comes from your heart. The Hebrew word tefillah is generally translated into English as the word prayer. But this is not an accurate translation. For to pray means to beg, beseech, and implore, which we have a number of Hebrew words for. In prayer, the person asks God to provide him from above with what he lacks. Therefore, when he's not in need of anything or feels no desire for a gift from above, prayer becomes redundant. The literal rendering of the Hebrew word tefillah is attachment. Tefillah is our striving to refresh our attachment to our Creator. Every soul is intrinsically connected with God, a bond which it retains after entering into the body and assuming a physical existence. But the needs and mundane distractions that come with the physical state tend to cloud our vision and undermine our connection. So three times a day, we realign the focus of our lives. Through tefillah, we communicate with our Creator, expressing our soul's eternal attachment to its divine source.